Melodifestivalklubben på Radio Café. Vi gör det så bra hemma sen. Du, du kan få tala i två gånger samtidigt. Nu taggar vi här. Vad kommer hända? All right, guys. Hello. Good evening, Europe, ladies and gentlemen, mesdames and messieurs, and everybody else, whoever you might be. My name is Richard. Welcome to Hard Rock Cafe in Stockholm. We're having a Melody Festival in tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. And I would just like to say thank you for coming in. And I'm gonna leave the microphone, since you can hear I'm not quite well with my voice. I'm gonna leave it to the Swedish president of the OGAE, Alex Boronen. Hello everyone. Uh, it's really nice to see so many of you have come here. Uh, I wonder, I think we have uh, people from a lot of different countries here tonight, right? You can say where are Malta. We are from Spain, maybe? Germany, yeah, wow. Iceland, no, Norway, cool, this is really cool, and uh, tonight uh, we are going to start the show, I'm not going to talk so much, uh, but the, our plan is next year uh, that this will be a tradition and uh, this will grow, so it will be like a sort of uh, mini pre-Eurovision event for Stockholm, Maldivsvalen, uh, we have Friday, Saturday and all weekend. And uh, this year is the start off for this project. And as you know, it will be a really great success. Okay, uh, we are going to start in a minute, but we have a special announcement because OJA International and OJA Sweden, we are this year organizing uh, OJA Second Chance Contest. This will be the 32nd time, and we, Sweden has won this competition 15 times. Uh, but this time we will make it a bigger event, a very special. And tonight we are going to introduce the logo and the team, uh, the, the slogan for this uh, contest. And we will also introduce you one of the hosts for the show that will take, be running in October in, in Eskilstuna. Uh, so I hope we can get on the screens uh, our little video now. And so this is the logo, and uh, yeah, and this is the team. Uh, our tagline will be "United by Music." And this is the very first time. This will be the very first time we have a tagline for this contest. So uh, between 5th and 6th October, it will be a live show in Eskilstuna, Stockholm, Sweden. And here now we have one of the hosts. Uh, for this show. Can we welcome up William on stage? Yeah! Hello William. Hey. hey! My name is William Schmatz and I will be one of the hosts for the OJE Second Chance Contest 2018 in Eskilstuna. And although we are two hosts, the other one, her name is Sarah Seidlich. She is not here today, sadly, but I'm here and I will be one of the hosts. Yes. Thank you, William. We are already planning. We have a big project group planning for this and we have a lot of excitement. And there will be a pre-show in June for everyone in the clubs around Europe to vote in. And then we will have the show in October in Eskilstuna. Okay. Uh, that's uh, everything for me now. Uh, I will mingle around and make reports and we are sending this live on YouTube and Instagram. 
and uh, I want to welcome uh, Kevin. Eurovision fans, I open my grinder and I can't get further than four meters. You motherfucking faceless torsos, put your hands up. I know who you are. I know how your feet look. Alright, so we're about to get the music started. Are you guys ready for some music? We got some great music lined up for you. Um, we got some music started, uh, and before we get into it, uh, we have a lot of talented artists coming, but I know in the house we got a lot of talented songwriters, producers, the people who make the artists sound good, so a big round of applause for all the songwriters in the house. You guys are what makes Eurovision happen, but in the words of Melody Festival then, are you guys ready? is a two-time Melody Festivalen finalist. In 2016, he wanted you to put your love in him. In 2017, he wanted to have our kiss. A big round of applause for the super charming, super talented. Give it up for your first performer, Boris Rene.
know, first of all, I just want to say thank you for having me. This is such an amazing night. The positivity is amazing. Give a round of applause to yourselves, guys. Come on, come on. Amazing. All right, so that was the first song, Put Your Love On Me, that I participated with. The first time I went to Melody Festival. And the second time, as Kevin said, I wanted her a kiss. So if you guys know the song, please sing along and just have some fun. Y'all ready for it? I'm asking one more time, you ready for it? Yeah! All right, hit me, DJ. Sing it. A soul funk, MJ, James Brown, Stevie Wonder. So come out. When is that? The 14th of April. So come to Scholar Theater here in Stockholm. Get your tickets on my on my website also, BorisRene.com. So it will be nice. Boris Rene, thank you so much. And thank the you. most important question. Yes. Who is going to win Melody Festival in tomorrow night? Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh. Come, come, come. I think I have to answer oh, very well. Specifically here. All right, I would say I think Benjamin Grosso. 
That was the right answer. Benjamin and Girls. That was the right answer. We'll have our own little drink, but thank you so much, Boris Renee. Thank and thank you so much. Thank you, <laughs> thank you guys. Have a great night. That was Boris Renee. Yes! I got the kiss. It was his kiss with me, right? We got more artists for you. Are you guys ready for more artists? We have tonight Greta Zaza from Lithuania. We have Emma Sandstrom from Finland and San Marino. We got Amaya from Slovenia. And we got a winner of last week's Polish national elimination. Lucas Meyer will be here to perform his Eurovision 2018 song. I'm running out of breath. But before we go on, I said before that songwriters make up a huge part of the Eurovision fan base. So I want to bring a songwriter up here. She is actually new to the Eurovision world, but she's already going to Lisbon. She wrote the song for Renata. She gave us all the feels. She wrote it as a song in Switzerland. Give it up for Laura Parker. Hey, how are you? I'm great. Hi, guys. So how many songs do you have in the Eurovision selection so far this year? Oh gosh, um, well I had one uh, with England, I have one here with Renata, um, I almost had one with Belgium, and uh, I have the Swiss entry which is called Stones with Zibs, and uh, I'm really excited to be going to Lisbon! Awesome! And uh, when did this all start with Eurovision? Well, I, uh, I, I'm Canadian, and so I, I actually didn't know what Eurovision was about a year and a half ago. And I went to a songwriting camp in England. It was for Eurovision, and I was like, everyone was introducing themselves, and I was kind of like, Hey, I'm Laurel from Canada, and I don't know what Eurovision is, but now I do. And it's changed my life. Hasn't it changed your lives? <laughs> well, Laurel, we're excited to see you in Lisbon. Good luck with Renata tomorrow night. Who thinks Renata is fierce? Okay, well, thanks for having me. Thank you so much. We'll see you at the bar. <laughs> We're going to take a little bit of a break. I'll see all of you at the bar. We're going to come back in a bit, and our next performer will be Amaya! Okay, the